videos. Okay, this is oh perfect. Okay, so uh, future Nox. Here's the icon I was talking about. You can see the hammer and the paper. I'm gonna go over to it. It says crafting recipe. Click new recipe unlock and marker. There. That was the last scrap of footage I needed for the first vid. Was a recipe on the map. That was the last piece. What is that? Is that a strong box? Earlier I saw that mark that icon and I mistook it for a Parandas coin thing. And it was not. It's a high Oh yeah, heist. I, I said strongbox, didn't I? I meant heist. I was thinking heist, I said strongbox. Strong boxes don't appear on the map. They are awesome. They don't appear on the map. Arakali's web. This is a boss room. I remember this. Summon the bone zone! Hey, wait, get back here. Get your spooter butt back here. I'm not done beating you up. <laughs> it's like just a meat grinder. <laughs> no, it's stalling. The bone zone got unsummoned. Oh, there we go. The fight's already ended. Oh, it has it? Oh god. Okay, there we go. Oh. Uh, at Muck, I have a shadow level 60 evasion magic shield to get two shot by any boss. Any tips? Ultra Morgan. Uh... Do you have any curses or auras running? You know, like weaken. Or temporal chains, or you know things like that. They, that could help. Like I'm running flesh and stone, which reduces damage I take by 11% for any or anything that's not nearby. Uh, temporal chain slows anything that gets near me by 40% uh, movement speed, 28% action speed. Which sometimes they they like run up to me and go to hit, and then they slow down, and I just step back. So uh, I don't know. It might might be something to to look into. Uh, cannot be sent if you have a center block. It's tough. I just want to our time. Uh, I think I'll keep what I've got right now. Is Wither an aura? I would have to. I would have to wiki that. So I'll let you do that. I'm not sure off the top of my head. But keep in mind, whatever. Like for example, if you're going energy shield. You're gonna want to take a lot of traits that boost your percentage of energy shield. Uh, like right now, I'm basically going life, so I've taken a bunch of loads that increase the percentage of life. So like, I get an item now. If it says plus 50 life, I actually get like 150 life because my uh, my traits amplify. It. You know, you know, make sure that you don't have like uh, talents. I, I said traits. I'm sorry, wrong game. Uh, make sure you don't have talents that boost armor. Uh, I'm trying to say to you. Make sure you don't have talents that boost armor, but then gear that's energy shield or something, something silly like that. Because that's not going to help you out. Everyone needs life unless you're going CI. Yeah, so CI, that one I actually remember from the olden days, uh, is a trait called Chaos Infusion. Uh, Chaos Infusion, you have one maximum hit point, so then all life nodes become useless. You have one hit point, but you're immune to chaos damage. So at that point, you're 100% invested into energy shield. Um, now, chaos damage by default skips energy shield. It is the only type of damage that just goes right around energy shield. That's like poison, usually green types of green looking stuff. Um, so if you're doing a CI build, and then you're your energy shield is your life bar, basically. All right, what do we got? Survive. This is the survive build. All right, let's, let's do a kite around. Summon the bone zone.
Random projectiles is fine. Miasma too. Yeah. Stalking ruin. Let's just get more things that don't matter as long as I'm moving around. Uh, stalking ruin two. Fall army. This is no longer amusing. Let's see, chromatic orb, two orbs of regret, superior gem, muttering essence, a death pendant, and a lot of crap. Are you planning on any path of building into your guide? For the for the new 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 players guide, no. But like I said, if it's well received and I'm making more. Like, I haven't even used Path of Building yet. Um, so I, I, I have a little note I scribbled to myself saying everybody's telling me I should try this. I haven't even tried it yet. Um, I don't think a brand, brand new player... I think that would turn away players. I think if, if you're a brand new player and you want to try this game out and everybody is telling you go do homework, that makes me want to not try a game out. So... If, if I end up making more guides, maybe. I very much try to put myself in the perspective of, like, brand new people. And if I was a brand new person, I would not want to do homework before I could even start the game. I would not want to watch an hour-long video. You know, stuff like that. Um, so I'm kind of putting myself in those shoes. And we'll, we'll see if people like what I have to give at that point. I read in a forum that you need a guide to use Path of Building. <laughs> I went to the Path of Building webpage and I marked it. That's all I've done. All right, I and Shara, you redeemed Potion Seller. Hang on a second. Mmm, Potion Seller. All right, two minutes of this. All right, Act 8 Town. Good to see you in San once again. Don't do anything. All right, let's sell, sell, sell. Bring me back something nice, eh? I don't have any more of that. Okay, we have got two talent points I can spend. Uh... Hmm. Energy shield recharge applies to life? Does that mean like you don't get hit for a while then it flies up to full? Timber some damage taken recouped as mana. Oh man, I remember uh, way back doing Raging Spirit Node and coming down here and getting this thing for the skill effect duration. What up, Muck? What's up, Joey? What's this? Max energy to zero will not full life sacrifice 20% of my average sector for that much life. Um, hmm. I wonder if it's worth going for this. So these three nodes, like if I went boom, boom, or boom, boom, um, well, that one gives 3% life. That gives more regen. I 
I wonder, hang on. Let's search the word regenerate. How was your day, Muck? What's up, Lord? I'm busy. Busy. I really tried to sit down and focused, and I worked through a very large project today, and I got it done, and I'm happy about that. How many levels are there? I think this game goes up to 100, but in 1,400 hours, the highest I ever got was like 90-something. Oh, fire damage. A new arrival. Welcome to Arrival. Hello. All right, for now, I'm going to put one point here, because that's 5% life and 8% mana. And then I'll just get another life node down here, and that's, say, I'm at 2616, and that then moves me to 2674. All right. Uh, hang on. Things here. I need to fix. Hold on. I'm gonna make myself a note. Uh, camera position. When I'm in the wrong scenes, uh, you got here. Watch this. You see. You see how I'm covering the hit points. I need to make all my scenes be at this position so you guys can see the life and energy totals. I need to fix that. So I just made myself a reminder. Okay. Uh, what do we got? Let's see. Sun. Farewell. Oh, the labyrinth. Oh my god. I, for, I totally forgot about that, guys. I think I can do the next labyrinth. Oh, that would be so good to get the next two ascendancy points. So, uh, new players, anytime you do the labyrinth, for the um, there are four difficulties of labyrinth. Anytime you complete it for the first time, you get two points for this little mini tree. Now, two doesn't sound like a lot, but each thing on this tree is a really big deal. For example, this one point is plus two to all minion skill gems. That's wild, you know? Like, so... Yeah, if I can get the next one uh, done, that'd be great. When I'm ready and not okay, so Cruel Labyrinth. It's level 55, I'm 65, so I should have an advantage. Uh. Howdy, how you feeling? How's your throat after yesterday? <laughs> you mean all the, the, the reading off 321 names? Uh, it's, it's good, it's good. That was wild. Dude, I was telling my wife the next this morning, I was like, do you know what happened last night? <laughs> Just don't die. Rusky with the big advice. That'll be the next guide. Rusky's guide to Path of Exile. Just don't die. And then it just goes into my outro music. The outro is 20 seconds long, the total video is 22 seconds long. I know this is YouTube, but I'm still able to ask about it. Absolutely. Ira, I want you guys to know you can always ask me about anything you think I know, but I'm not giving you, like, my social security number. Don't try that. Fool me once. Shame on you. Uh, let's see. Percentage goes there. Talis I don't know if I need to save talismans. I'm in the habit of it because I played the talisman league for a little bit, but I don't know if I need to save it. Have you played RS? Is that RuneScape? I have, uh, I tried old school RuneScape, if that's what you're asking me about. Um, it, it was not for me. Not because of the graphics. I do not mind old graphics. I played EverQuest for seven years. I hated the combat. It was like, I could, uh, there, there are three ways of killing someone in RuneScape. Uh, Melee Bonk, Archer Pew Pew, or Magic Blast. An archer costs money per shot, and magic blast costs money per shot, which is the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. So, yeah, it was... It was it was the dumb. Uh, Jill Dye is the same kind of guy we got with the wizard hat, let's be honest, it's what we deserve. Ooh, orange item. Life is short,
I got here late, Jordy. Tell everyone how many subs you got last night. I never heard the new number. I said on the Discord last night. So, for, for those of you who've never been on the streamer side, when you finish a stream, it usually tells you, like, how many subs and follows and stuff you got at the end of the stream. It's not something I like to, like, brag about, because I don't want people to think I'm just, like, flaunting or something. But since he asked, it was... 321 were gifted, were gained yesterday. Many gifted, some, you know, individuals. But it was 321. It was very, very insane for a stream of my size. And I was stuttering a lot. <laughs> What classes are there? I still got 20 gigabytes to go. Uh, Jaded... Oh man, it's gonna be so great when I can just go. I've got a guide for that. Uh, they're... Alright. Alright, hold on. Really quick rundown. Don't be scared of this talent tree. See these nodes? These nodes are where the classes start. The Int, the Strength, the Dex. Ranger, Marauder, Witch. Then there's Hybrids. Templar is Int Strength. Duelist is strength dex, shadow is int dex. Now that's where they start, but they, you know, they can go uh they can basically they can go anywhere if they want to. But wait, hold on a second. Can I make a circle? I think I made a circle. So like you can teach a marauder how to shoot a fireball if you want to, but he's going to be really bad at it. Because for example, if you're trying to like if fireball stuffs up here, the Marauder would have to spend so many talent points going up here to get to the Fireball stuff. It'd be dumb. You know, you would make a Witch if you want to shoot Fireballs. Uh, maybe a Templar, but not a Marauder for that. So, you want to pick a class, like, if you want to Hulk Smash, pick a Marauder, a Duelist, or a Templar. If you want to Pew Pew, you know, Dexterity stuff, uh, then, then make a, you know, either a Dex character or a Dex Adjacent character. And Sion, yeah, Scion is unlocked after you have beaten Act 3 for the first time. And the Scion will get you, um, the Scion starts in the dead center of the tree right here. So she actually has to spend quite a few points just to get out of the middle, but she has her own strengths and weaknesses. She's, you know, jack of all trades type thing. Scion has more points to... Wait, wait, she does? I've never heard that before. Scion gets more points? Very interesting. You missed the secret room? I couldn't immediately tell how to get into the room. <laughs> Where's the other exit of this thing? We're still in the first area. Uh, can I recommend removing the terrain from the map easier on the eyes? Uh, is that an option? UI. Which class? Uh, uh yeah, I'm playing Necromancer, uh... Uh, which oh oh good to know thank you
I'm like going in circles here. Um, yeah, this goes to the Astrid's trial. Oh, there was, oh, because there wasn't an orange marker on the mini-map, I didn't realize that that was a door. Alright. Those are mummies? Yeah, it's the, the mummy skin for the zombies. All right, Lorberry redeemed Gandalf the fly. Who am I to deny them? Mmm. Is it really worth it grinding in the early game? Grinding? I mean, I'm just following the story and you kind of stay properly leveled if you do that. And not before. Uh, the only... I mean, I could see you maybe wanting to sit in an area and, like, grind it out. If you were trying to farm, like, maybe cards for a Tabula Rasa or something. But other, other than that, I would say just keep moving forward. And off with glasses. Oh yeah. When he when Gandalf came back the second time, Gandalf the fly. Strong box. Okay, this goes the correct direction. I ordered Panda Express. Congratulations. What's the maximum number of minions that can be summoned at once? Dude, the Vol Summon minion spell alone summons... What is that? 32? It's a short... It's like for a short period of time, but it summons 32 dudes. Right now, I can have nine... Oh, what? Nine? Oh, it went up to nine. Cool. Nine skeletons, three specters, seven zombies, one golem, and some phantasms out on a consistent basis. Pick up the orb! Oh my gosh. What was that? Six sockets. That's seven jewelers orbs. Uh, I want to try the zombie strength build you talked about. Since it's a mix of strength, should I go with Witch or Templar? Uh, probably Witch, and then uh, I, th I, th I think because the thing is, Witch can become a Necro, which helps you immensely. The Templar doesn't, so you would go Witch and then go down there. Now the thing is that build. Um, it requires a few items, so you'd probably want to play in the, the um, not solo cell found league like I am, that way you can trade with people. Because, um, what, th the main thing is there's a helmet called the Baron, and it's a unique item, and the Baron adds your strength to your pets. And you need that, and then there are, like, there's a unique pair of boots that increases your uh, strength by 20%. And I think there's a set of gloves that might do the same, and those items help immensely with getting to the uh, the, the the amounts you need. Um, the Baron also is like for every 200 strength you get another zombie, and for if you're over a thousand strength, your zombies heal you when they attack.
So yeah, so you you need the, those items um, to do it. It was a it was a really cool build. The muscle witch. It's not as nearly as strong as it used to be. Oh, I I have no idea what its current strength is. I'm just I'm just saying. There's also a, it's either a scepter or a mace. And it says you can have half as many zombies, but they're way stronger. And I remember using that with that build. So instead of, it was like for every 400 strength, I would get another zombie, but it would be, you know, Godzilla. Godzilla zombies. Nope, I use that. The next conduit you interact with will be disabled permanently. Okay. Uh, let's throw these in here. So I have more room for loot. Alright, what's going on? Okay, so here's this thing. I'm gonna summon some bodies to detonate as soon as it starts. Here we go. Alright, I disabled the conduit of flames with that gizmo I had. <laughs> What's up, Gally? Oh, Muckley Back was about that'll be original to the squad. The fourth is the Tazi Fans, doubles the third. Welcome to you, JJK, back to the Bones on VFP Lounge. Hope you enjoy your stay tuned for the way giveaways every week. Please take a seat, but you'll only need the edge. Mmm. Chat, one of my longest lasting subs. 34 freaking months. I didn't even know I've been streaming 34 months. He, he is my clock. Thank you, buddy. Now the king of mini builds are specters or carrion golems. What, like, m like having many carrion golems? Is that what you mean? Like, just like a horde of them? Look for another door. Oh, that didn't take long. Perfect. Why no skitterbots? I mean, skitterbots are for people that use traps and stuff, right? I don't think that's going to help me out. I'm pretty sure that's a dex based minion. Skitterbot, shills, and shocks nearby enemies. Oh, Riri. Put an Infernal Legion skill gem on it. Uh, I've had a carrying goal to build last sleep. Four carrying goals, three VS, two utility goals, four buff specters, and a few zombies to meet shield. Kind of much all content, at least over five million DPS per carrion. Uh, didn't know they were that good. The only league, that, I don't know when it was, many leagues ago, I did the Golemancer for one league, which was basically like one lightning golem, one stone, and then a ton of fire golems. All the fire golems you could get. But it was such an item, to, expensive item dependent build. Like I couldn't really get it going until I was like level 80 something. It was fun, but uh, it was also, I, I think it might've been the Breach League. Cause I remember I would use it, run up to a boss. And if I died, I could just lay there dead and the golems would kill the boss. And then the next league they made it to where if you died, all your minions did zero damage to stop that. Skitterbots are good for any build. Apply shock to enemies and they take more damage. Uh, 